Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this online math lab. Today, we are going to look at numerical solution of ODEs using MATLAB software. And uh, our topic is uh, on the Runge Kuta fourth order method. Remember, this is a method of solving initial value problems in the form of ODEs. Now, the method is that uh, yn plus one is equals to n plus k, where k is defined in this way. k1, k2, all the way up to k4, these are they're given. We are iterating from n0, 1, to etc. Now we have this question. We are asked to solve this ODE that uh, dy over dx is equals to four minus y squared over two x subject to the initial condition that y of 2 is equals to 1 and the step size is equals to 0 0.2. We need to estimate the values of y of 2.2 all the way up to y of 3, correct to 6 dp, and then visualize our output in the form of graphs and tables. So let me take you uh, back to MATLAB where we are supposed to do the coding. And here we are. So as usual, we first of all need to create a new script. Let us save it, control S. Uh, let's call it Runge Kuta. Runge Kuta, fourth order, Runge Kuta four. I mean fourth order method. We put a four method, we save it there. As usual, you have to clear all the variables in the computer memory so that you create enough memory to store the new variables. Then CLC here will clear the command window. Now, what are we given? We are given that uh, X naught is equals to two where we are starting the starting value of x and uh, we are supposed to stop at three. We want to go all the way up to three. And uh, we know the step size, h is equals to 0 0.2. What else do we know? Why not? Why not is equals to one. And we also know that f is a function of uh, x, y, x comma y, it is defined by four minus y squared uh, divided by two times x. That's our ODE, that uh, dy dx, uh, dy dx is equals to f of x, y, that's the ODE. Then, uh, those are the only given information and the accuracy is uh, correct to six decimal places. So once you are through with the given information, we now go to the computation, the computation part. Here, we need to know the X values. So X ranges from X naught in steps of H all the way up to XN and supply the initial condition y1 is equals to y0. This is the initial condition, initial condition that y of x0 is equals to y0. That's what it means. And this the case where uh, n is equals to zero. Because when n is equals to zero, we talk of y0. That's the initial condition. Here we will be talking of the x values, x values. Now, because we are iterating, remember n, 0, 1, 2, etc, we need a loop and the best is to use a for loop. For n is equals to one to the length of the x vector, but you have to subtract one because already we know the first value of y, the starting value of y. So that's why we are subtracting one. Every loop must have an end. Inside the loop, we write the formula, the Runge-Kutta formula. We first of all need to compute k1 
How do we find it? It is h h times f of x n comma y n. That's k1. K2, let me just copy this. K2, it should not be K2, it's H F of X N. And here you are adding H over two. And at Y N, we are adding plus K1 over two. Proceed and go to K3. K3 is H of X n plus uh, h over 2. Here we are adding plus k2 over 2. And lastly, k4. That is f of x n plus h by n plus k3. Once you know the k1 all, all the way up to 4, you can now compute k, which is equals to 1 over 6. Uh, times k1 plus 2 times k2 plus 2 times k3 then plus k4. That's uh, how to find k. You can distinguish, you can keep the tabs. Once you know your k, you can now find y. yn plus 1. That's equals to y n. And this you're adding to k. And that's what you're calling the Runge Kuta. The whole of this is the Runge Kuta scheme. The Runge Kuta scheme. Everything, yeah. Everything I've done is the Runge Kuta scheme. Now, Let's see, will we get the value of y? Let me run. Uh, yes, what about x? We also have the values of x and the corresponding values of y. And now we need the exact solution, uh, call it exact. Exact is simply equal to, let me take you back to where there was the exact solution. Already we did it, remember it's the same problem that we, was solving using modified Yola method and also Yola method. And this is how we got our exact solution. Two into three x squared minus four over three x squared plus four. So we go back to MATLAB and uh, write it in our code. So it's two times, uh, three times x squared minus four this should be divided by uh, 3x squared plus 4. That's our exact solution. Then uh, we also need the absolute error, ABS error. That's the same as uh, ABS of the exact minus our approximate is y. Let me run so that you see the error. Times 10 raised to negative five. This is very, very accurate. This is much accurate. More accurate as compared to the uh, modified Euler's method or even the Euler's method. And now we can now display our results. On the display, I just copy what we discussed under Euler's method because already I explained how to come up with the display. If you don't understand this, you could go back to my video under Euler's method so that you understand this code under the display. But to avoid repetition, I'll just copy this code and uh, paste it here. I have copied it from Euler's. I already explained how it works, how, how to come up with this code under the Euler's method. You could go back and refer to the explanation that uh, we discussed there. So what I'll change here, instead of Euler, 
is now runge kuta, runge kuta four, fourth order. So RK to means to mean runge kuta, and the four to mean the order runge kuta four. And look at how our output looks like. Seems to be very accurate, very very accurate, as you can see. And uh, it means this runge kuta fourth order method is more accurate than the previous methods that we have looked at so far. Because as I can see, the error is times 10 raised to negative seven, I can see negative six. So this method is very, very accurate. You can also see the output in terms of the, the tabular output. We have the first column x values, then the approximate solution, the exact solution, and the error, as you can see from that table. So that's how to work out this kind of problem using MATLAB software. And you could customize the display in whichever format that you'd like it to be. Let's say you wanted this uh, color to be green instead of blue, let it be green, whichever. Green means G, and you see, but that one does not look very nice. It's blurred. Let's just return our blue. And so when I run, this is what I get. So thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is uh, Prof. Okage Math Lab. When you go to the YouTube search, type Prof. Okage math lab and you will find me right there also don't forget to comment like and share this video when you meet next time we look at more problems involving numerical solution of odes using matlab and those odes are the initial value problems bye bye